All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Living in Halifax. This is one of our driving tours today. We're going to be doing the uh, commute into downtown Halifax from Bedford, kind of the Sobeys Mall area. This is this is the street that you get on if you wanted to either get onto the highway uh, and take the highway into Halifax, or what we're going to do is take the Bedford Highway into Halifax. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I'll give you kind of a narration. We'll have the radio going as well. And uh, we're actually right now, it's 2 p.m., so it's not really rush hour or anything like that. But uh, we got a beautiful day. And it, honestly, this is one of my favorite drives in Halifax. So we're starting from uh, Bedford, Nova Scotia, heading into downtown Halifax. All right, enjoy. All right. So... Here we are, so off to the left here, oh jeez, okay. Off to the left here is uh, kind of the Bedford, the, the the real tail end of Bedford Basin. Um, and there's actually a very nice little boardwalk there on the left-hand side as well that, that uh, you know, you can kind of walk along the waterfront there in Bedford. Um, so this is, you know, what I would consider the the closest point of Bedford to Halifax. Bedford can expand a bit around the edge of the Bedford Basin, um, but we're just for the purpose of this video, we're going up the Bedford Highway. Just wanted to show you kind of that. Now, this light up here that we're about to go past is uh, the light to Larry Utec Boulevard. And Larry Utec Boulevard is a large shopping district, uh, kind of strip mall shopping district in Bedford as well and is kind of the gateway there's an exit there on the highway but it's the gateway to the parks at West Bedford which is a beautiful um, new built neighborhood uh, pretty expensive homes out there walking past lakes all that stuff tons of families but yeah uh, just briefly on the left here really cool kind of new uh, almost like a, I call it an immigration plaza because most of the shops in there are either shops or restaurants slash food um, areas or places that you can get, uh, you know, foreign foods. And it's really good. So that's a really cool new thing that's just kind of spread it up in Bedford over the last year or so. Um, but yeah, so this is obviously the Bedford Highway. Now there's a rail line that is just off to the side of this on the left that basically... Uh, acts as you know our, our one of our gateways to the port uh, by rail so that will run along here it's usually kind of sunk and we might be able to see it a little bit elevated at certain parts here but the, the city did a good job of hiding that noise from the rail just like they do in the south end uh, where they sink the rail kind of into the ground so that it's not creating a whole racket all right, so uh, yeah, we're just kind of coming in here. This is another way to get to Larry Utec right here. Um, so there's this is the actual Larry Utec Boulevard, uh, or the tail end of it. But that other road that I pointed out before, that will take you up up there as well uh, into that direction. Um, it's just it's really close shopping for a lot of Bedford. Uh, but, you know, I think you'll find that this drive is pretty quick, especially look at that view. You guys can see that but we got a beautiful day here in early uh early april and i think it's going to be mid-20s on friday which is just shocking quite frankly um but yeah so this is one of the this is called fisherman's market right here oh jesus i hit this lady um but fisherman's market is a pretty popular you know almost local seafood market it's open around but uh, it's uh, definitely a good uh, staple of kind of the Bedford Rockingham region so we're gonna cut through Rockingham up here uh, and then Clayton Park those are kind of the, the, the neighborhoods that border the Bedford Highway as we get a little bit closer just gonna watch my speed here so this is technically you know 50 kilometers 50 or 60 kilometers along here um, you know, I've been driving this a long, long time. I don't, I, I have been driving this road for a very long time and I rarely see people pulled over, but you know, don't go ripping a hundred kilometers an hour down here. Uh, but you 
know, it's a it's a it's a quicker pace of, of traffic. I think it's actually 60. Anyways, uh, all right, so we're coming into, you know, I would consider this to be kind of a piece of Clayton Park almost. Kearney Lake, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's probably realistically more Rockingham than Kearney Lake. See this building on the left here, this brown building? This is actually where the new Remax, my new office, is going to be. So they're finishing off out there. But this, this, there will be a little light up here. And this will actually take you up to kind of Bears Lake area. Again, this is a good, like, big box shopping district. They got a huge movie theater out there, Costco, Walmart, Kent. Just a ton of large-scale commercial. Um, so that's one way you can take. Uh, but yeah. Oh, geez, they got the bridge and anchor is closed. I mean, you know, you'll notice along here, there's quite a bit of like almost small scale commercial that loop all the way in along the Bedford Highway. And this is all everything from restaurants to shops to gyms, um, you know, so it's not really high density commercial, I wouldn't say, but you're, you're you know, if you're in Bedford, you're not going to have to go very far to get what you need. You certainly won't need to go into Halifax, in my opinion, unless you, you know, want to do some I guess higher scale shopping um, in the Halifax Shopping Center, but uh, yeah, we'll have to do a Halifax to the airport drive. I'm just gonna start trying to incorporate these drives so that you guys get a better feel for kind of the city. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now we're kind of coming in a little bit. This is Rockingham. They got a. This is one of the bigger international grocery, I believe it's halal groceries uh, right there. So we don't have any like big chains in terms of that stuff yet out here. Our immigrant population is just kind of starting to tick up now, um, but we don't have any big chains of, I think we have one Chinese food chain or Chinese grocery chain, uh, downtown Halifax, it's like K something, but we don't have any like big halal grocers or anything like that. Anyways, I think that guy does a decent clip of business. Okay, so hot tip for people. Uh, we are approaching Mount St. Vincent University, and if you see here to the left, you see a lot of trains. I was uh, at a friend's house up here the other day, and one of the guys who was there also lives on this street. He says at night at around 12 to 1 in the morning, almost every night the trains just start moving stuff uh, in here, causing a racket. So if you're kind of on the very low end, if you're if you're up in the hills of Clayton Park or even the hills of Rockham, you're good. Um, but you know, there's a couple houses down kind of near the bottom here that uh, you, you'd be a little bit, it'd be a little bit loud in the evenings. And I guess you get used to it what I understand but you know just that's something to keep in mind if you're looking at I don't know about these houses up here on the cliff there's some really nice houses up to the right on the cliff uh, but you know that's uh, certainly a little unfortunate if they get the loud noises okay so now we're starting we're kind of we're at the bottom of Clayton Park here we're gonna cut through Fairview briefly. You can see these kind of apartment buildings up here on the right. Uh, those would be part of what I would consider to be Fairview. And uh, then we're gonna go into Halifax. I think we're gonna cut through the north end because it tends to be a little bit quicker if you lock that off. Actually, you know what? No, we'll go along the lower water street starting under the bridge give you folks a good idea for, you know, what the, probably the quickest route is here. Um, so there's the little Fairview sign right there. And over here on the left, if you can see it, is the Fairview Cove container terminal. Um, so that's one of the large shipping areas. They've done a, quite a large, or they've been working on, I should say, they're continuing to work on a large... Um, kind of uh, 
expansion of the port. Just to add capacity there and uh, allow for, for more goods and services coming in and out. Alrighty, so this is one of the messier interchanges I would say in Halifax. It's called the Windsor Street Exchange. You've got I think something like five or six roads almost coming to a head here. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna take this in. Get on Barrington Street, which turns into uh, well, we can ride Barrington Street all the way in until we get to the uh, downtown core. ship parking almost some ships that are getting refitted um, you know restocked all that stuff uh, there's also some decent rail pull-offs there where I think trains can get unloaded by cranes and whatnot put on what's the word put on trucks um, but yeah now we're kind of into the lower part of the north end here uh, and as we go through here on the right hand side it's going to be all residential uh, we're actually getting into a spot that's you know it's got it's got there's public housing area here on this corner as we come along and then uh, turns back into residential for a bit and then it will eventually turn back into public housing the public housing districts tend to be uh, there's two in the Halifax, well, three in the Halifax side, and two of them are, are kind of close to this Barrington Street Road. Uh, on the left here, you're going to see the Halifax shipbuilding, or shipyard, which is where the new Navy ships, and I believe some of the Coast Guard ships, are being constructed. Uh, but yeah, and this kind of ties into the naval base mentioned in another video so the navy base is, is all on the left basically all the way down to the casino and uh, on the right here we're still in kind of residential apartment buildings there's some some actual residential homes behind it but uh, yeah other than that it's pretty uh you know this this 
this street is a high traffic street, obviously. It's a main artery of the city. And acts as, as a real way to get traffic kind of in and out of the city. They've recently put in these bike lanes, or bike lanes, bus lanes on the right-hand side, as you see. And also on the right here with the fences, this is actually the other part of the naval base. So this is CFB Halifax, which I believe is home to the Canadian Division headquarters. Uh, so that would have different elements of the branches of the Canadian Armed Forces. Oh, cop car at my speed. No. All right, so we're coming in. This is again North Street. It's a pretty, pretty big uh, artery here to get onto the other bridge that we just passed under. And then right along here on the right hand side, a bit more public housing uh, as well as some residential mixed in. But, uh, yeah, we're just kind of getting closer and closer. Look at other kind of cop. RCMPs were running around downtown Halifax for some reason. Um, so yeah, this is kind of just a, it's a cool viewer. Coming in here. And as we get, you'll, you'll see pretty quickly that, uh, this area in front of us that we're coming into here is a massive construction zone. So this is basically, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, just this is, this used to be called the Cogswell Interchange. And in the last six months or so, they've started to pick it apart and they're gonna turn this actually into a really nice uh, there's going to be a mix of condos and apartments, from my understanding. As well as uh, some park space. And it's designed, I think, in part to get rid of this big mess of stuff, but also to connect the casino, which is directly left of us right now. Um, so we're still in Barrington. We're going to kind of come down into the downtown core here. And... Uh, there in the summer and uh, just, yeah nice like open kind of space got some buildings going up on the left here and we've also got some cool shops and restaurants basically all the way down Barrington but yeah this is pretty much it I mean this is uh, this is downtown Halifax this would be your commute, or one way to do your commute. But uh, other than that, hope everybody has a great day, and we're coming into summer here. So, exciting times ahead. All right, everybody, 